Hey, TVAX fans! Welcome back to our channel, where we bring you the latest and most intriguing updates from the world of reality TV. Today, we've got some fascinating stories lined up for you, so let's dive right in. First up, we have a shocking development from ITV Golden Bachelor. Just three months after their romantic televised wedding, Teresa Nist and Jerry Turner have announced their divorce. But what led to this unexpected split? Join us as we unpack their heartfelt revelations during a recent interview. Next, we shift our focus to Goavi Golden Bachelorette Eye. Fans are still reeling from Mark Anderson's departure, and many are calling for him to be the next Golden Bachelor. What makes Mark such a beloved figure among fans? We'll explore the touching moments that have captured hearts and what viewers hope to see in the future. Then, amidst the drama, we have some exciting news. I Bachelor in Paradise has officially been renewed for season 10, despite concerns about its future. What does this mean for the franchise, and how will it change moving forward? Stay tuned as we analyze what could be next for this beloved spin-off. Finally, we have a serious topic to discuss. I, the Bachelorette contestant Devin Strader, has come under fire after reports surfaced regarding a restraining order from his past. We'll break down the details, public reactions, and what this means for his reputation in Bachelor Nation. So there you have it. Four unique stories that are captivating Bachelor Nation right now. Let's kick things off with a major update from Atha Golden Bachelor. Just three months after their highly publicized wedding, Teresa Nist and Jerry Turner have announced that they are divorced. During a heartfelt interview on H Good Morning America, the couple shared the news, revealing that their decision to separate was mutual and amicable. Jerry explained the challenges they faced, stating, Teresa and I have had a number of heart-to-heart -heart conversations. We've looked closely at our situation, our living situation, and so forth, and we've kind of come to the conclusion mutually, that it's probably time for us to dissolve our marriage. It's evident that the distance between them played a significant role in their breakup, as Gary resides in Indiana while Teresa lives in New Jersey. In the interview, both Gary and Teresa expressed their commitment to their families and the difficulty of merging their lives while living in different states. We looked at homes in South Carolina. We considered New Jersey and we just looked at home after home, but we never got to the point where we made that decision. Teresa explained. Meanwhile, Teresa took to Instagram to thank her supporters and expressed her gratitude for the love and kindness she received during this tough time. She also reached out to fans who felt confused or angry, urging them to show understanding and kindness. In her post, she quoted Dr. Hart. She was saying, don't cry because it's over. Smile because it happened. The couple's story captured the hearts of many viewers who tuned in to witness their journey on GT the Golden Bachelor. However, as they transition out of their brief marriage, they hope that their love story continues to inspire older singles looking for love. Gary emphasized that despite their decision to part ways, his affection for Teresa remains strong, stating, I still love this person. There's no doubt in my mind I still am in love with her. It's a bittersweet ending for what many hoped would be a lasting love story. As we watch their journey unfold, we can't help but reflect on the challenges that often come with finding love in the spotlight. What do you think about their decision to divorce? Let us know in the comments. Now let's turn our attention to ITV Golden Bachelorette, where fans are still reeling from the emotional departure of Mark Anderson. After an awkward one-on-one -on -one date with Joan Vassos, it became clear that the connection just wasn't there, leading to Mark's exit from the show. His heartfelt moments and genuine personality quickly made him a fan favorite. And many viewers are now passionately advocating for him to be the next Golden Bachelor. Mark's time on Eintai the Golden Bachelorette was marked not only by his charming demeanor, but also by his open discussions about his late wife, Denise. Fans were deeply touched when he shared a poignant memory about a hummingbird that reminded him of her. He recalled, You know, it's hard. I lost Denise six and a half years ago and it still affects me, like deeply affects me. Kelsey would see a butterfly that would remind her of her mom, and for Kelsey, that was the comfort. Mark's vulnerability resonated with the audience, 
making them feel connected to his journey. Many fans believe that he deserves a second chance at love and are making their voices heard, calling for him to take on the leading role in the next season of Katawaka the Golden Bachelor. They want to see him back in the mansion, this time surrounded by potential suitors vying for his heart. Social media is buzzing with excitement at the prospect of Mark as the next leading man. Fans have expressed their hope that he can find happiness again, feeling he has a lot of love to give after enduring such loss. As the show progresses and we witness more moments from Aita Golden Bachelorette, it's clear that Mark's journey is far from over. And his story is one many are rooting for. Could Mark be the next heartthrob in the GE Bachelor franchise? It's a question that remains in the air, and we're eager to see how it unfolds. What are your thoughts? Do you want to see Mark take the lead? Share your opinions in the comments below. Next up, let's dive into some exciting news surrounding E Bachelor in Paradise. After a roller coaster season 9 that left fans questioning the future of the series, we can now confirm that E Bachelor in Paradise has officially been renewed for season 10. This announcement comes as a relief to fans who were worried that the beloved spin-off might be canceled following a lackluster season and low ratings. Despite its struggles, the show remains a staple of E Bachelor Nation, and many are eager to see how it will evolve moving forward. The previous season faced its fair share of criticism, with viewers feeling that it lacked the authentic and fun experience they had come to love. However, the incomparable charm of I the Golden Bachelor was reported to have blown the last season of A Bachelor in Paradise out of the water in terms of ratings. Showcasing just how much viewers are in tune with heartfelt relationships rather than contrived drama. During the recent TCA Summer 2024 press tour, it was revealed that, although YEB Pi isn't returning immediately, the network is planning to take this time as an opportunity to reevaluate and revamp the series. The network hopes that by taking a breather, they can cultivate a more exciting cast and bring back the magic that fans are missing. There's speculation that future seasons could focus on more authentic connections and positive interactions among contestants. As for when we can expect to see the cast back on the beach, while we have no exact premiere date yet, it has been confirmed that H. A Bachelor in Paradise won't return until 2025. The delay is aimed at ensuring that both the franchise and its audience are treated to the high-quality entertainment they've come to expect. With the successful season of Amara I the Golden Bachelor, paving the way expectations are high for what's next. Will we see some familiar faces from the Golden franchise making an appearance on the beach? One can only hope. What changes do you think need to be made for A Bachelor in Paradise to reclaim its former glory? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Finally, we need to address a serious topic that has emerged in the world of Kathy Bachelorette. Contestant Devin Strader has found himself at the center of controversy following revelations about a restraining order that was filed against him in the past. The details of the petition, which came to light recently, describe alarming behavior that includes allegations of spitting, throwing a drink, and physically harming the individual who filed the order. As this information surfaced, Fans of the show have expressed their concerns and frustrations over Devin's casting. Many are questioning how someone with such a troubling background was able to make it through the casting process, and whether the producers conducted adequate vetting. A source close to Why Navy Bacheloretta assured fans that the safety of contestants is taken very seriously, and that every effort is made to conduct thorough background checks. However, this protective order reportedly did not come up in their searches. In the wake of these revelations, Devin has faced significant backlash from viewers. Many fans have accused him of mistreating his fellow contestants, particularly Jen Tran, from whom he received negative feedback during the show. This situation has prompted a broader discussion within the E Bachelor Nation regarding contestant safety and accountability on reality TV. Devin's past has led to a divided opinion among fans. Some feel that he deserves a chance to be understood and rehabilitated, while others believe he should no longer be part of the franchise.
It raises important conversations about how production teams can better protect participants and ensure a safe environment for everyone involved. If you or someone you know is experiencing domestic violence, remember that help is available. You can call the National Domestic Violence Hotline at 1-800-799-7233. We'd like to hear your thoughts on this troubling situation. What do you think should happen next? Share your opinions in the comments below.